Yeah, Mike, uh, Bench had the season high tonight with 36 and obviously got a, a key contributions from Goody. I mean, are you just looking for consistency at this point? You know, one game is nice, but you want to see that kind of moving forward, that group do what they, they did tonight? I thought it was a total team effort on everybody's part. And, yeah, it helps when your bench come off and they play the way they did. Goody was fantastic tonight, but everybody off the bench played well. Um, and, you know, I... I'm pleased with our play on both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, the one thing I, when I look at the box score, you know, giving up 46 points and a half, that's, that's a bit too much for any team. So, you know, we got to, we really got to focus in on trying to eliminate teams between 30 and 34, 35 points a half. I mean, that's, you do that, you put yourself in position to win a lot of games. Yeah, Mike, on Leal, I want to say he played five minutes all year, played 25. What sparked that? I decided to play him tonight. Why? Because I decided to play him tonight, yeah. Mike, um, it's kind of a simplistic thing, but we, we spent a lot of last season asking you about some struggles at the free throw line. You guys have been really consistent there this season. What's a product of that, especially maybe for some bigs, a guy like Malik who shoots a lot of them just by the way he plays the game and is making them at a much higher clip? Well, again, I mean, that you think back over the last two years, that's really been a problem for us. And, you know, we've given three, four, five games away over the last few years each season because of missed free throws. And that was one of the things going out into the portal this summer to try to find guys that you feel good about when they step to the line, they make their free throws. And Balo's even been better this year too. So I'm very pleased about that as well. Just going back to Luke Goody's play, 38% or so career three-point shooter coming in. Took him a few games to get going. But what can he do for you guys when he shoots? Maybe not necessarily like this, but even close to this. Well, I mean, again, it opens up everything that you do from an offensive standpoint. I mean, if you, it ain't, you, know, you can take 33s and only make two or three, that, that doesn't do you any good. I mean, we, we've been shooting the three ball pretty well. Um, uh, and Goody's a big part of it. That was one of the reasons we went out to to recruit him. And uh, tonight is show big time for us. I mean, we benefited from it, him making the five threes that he made. Mike, the lineup that you had that had uh, Leo Tucker and Goody on the floor at the same time, I think in the first half it was with Balo and, and Trey, and then the second half might have been with Miles and Malik. Very productive lineup. What did you think of what you saw from that particular? The energy, person? just the energy that they gave early, uh, coming off the bench. I mean, they were, they were into it and uh, did a lot of good things, especially on the defensive end, and got us a nice little cushion going in at halftime. I thought they had a lot to do with it. Yeah, Mike, with uh, with Goody tonight, did you try to get him shots in, in any different ways than, than you usually do, or was it kind of just, you know? No, I ran shots? a few plays for him um, where he was able to come, in, but a lot of it was pushing the pace. He got a few in transition. A um, couple, one, of them, one or two he got on kickouts uh, from the post. Um, and then a couple of times I ran plays for him where he, he came off and he made shots. And... Kind of how we did in, in, in Providence in the Bahamas. You know, it was the same thing with he and Mac. I've been trying to get them running and using more screen actions to, to get shots. And uh, Goody was good again tonight doing it. Coach, what has Goody meant to this team so far this season off the floor? Well, he's, he's meant a lot. I mean, he was so happy when we recruited him to, to, to bring him back home. and. <laughs> And once he got here, he's he's been everything that we thought he would be. You know, he struggled early, but it's a long season, man. I mean, and tonight we benefited from Goody making shots. I mean, what we expect him to do when he comes into the game. Mike, uh, Anthony scored just four points but finished uh, plus 39. What allowed him to come into the game and be so impactful tonight? Well, again, I mean – you know, we're we're shorthanded. Gabe's not with us. Uh, Kane is not with us. I mean, we – so we went deeper into the bench. And, 
you know, Anthony's always been there when we needed him, and I thought tonight he stepped up and played a solid game for us. Yeah, Miles kind of had a rough showing in the Bahamas. Tonight, was there any kind of urgency to get him going, get him right? Well, again, I mean, Miles is – he's still trying to figure out the surrounding pieces. You know what I mean? He's, he's a good pick-and-roll guy that can get downhill, as you saw today, and he's capable of making shots. And – he struggled in the Bahamas, and you know to see him come back tonight and play the way he did, I'm, I'm proud as hell of him. You know we just gotta keep him headed in the right direction.